This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. And I'm doing a review on this mechanized brick set. It's a Tiger One. Got it from eBay. 175, I believe. And this retails for 215 from the mechanized brick website. Which this particular one is discontinued. The set I received contains three minifigures and 733 pieces. The new one, which is available now, is a little bit different. It contains 709 pieces and only one minifigure. And just a few differences I see are just the wheels and other things. That's it. So that being said, let's open this up. And there it is. This was used. So basically um, built and splayed and put back. So the pieces are still pretty new. So here are the contents. I still have the sticker, which is not cut out yet. So brand new. Here's the instruction pamphlet, which is papers. Apparently, it looks like one of my bags uh, ripped open. So here's the pieces. Let's build it. set complete there's your tiger one tank along with three minifigures however there are no weapons or anything like that except for one accessory which is a shovel construction pamphlet and you have your leftover sticker sheet I had a cut so here's the instructions cut the decal to shape and you have to peel it off so yeah you have to custom uh, cut it the instruction book or pamphlet is here unfortunately I cannot uh, show you the instructions but I'll just show you a little sample where it shows you the number of pieces what you need and um, your steps so pretty straightforward the three minifigures included use the dark blue gray color they're blank the legs and torso however these are stickers used for detail you can see they're clear and of course you have the different facial expressions so they're kind of generic but I'd rather have three versus one on the series um, three there's only one figure the Tiger one is fragile as you might suspect from these um, custom builds however it's not as fragile as you might think I mean it is fragile but this is Lego after all, and I've had way more fragile builds from other brick companies. But anyways, here's the tank, and you can see the decals. Just two of them on each side, and this custom rope piece. This is a custom piece. Basically, it's a uh, lever base, just like this, except black, and it has a tube sticking out. So, you can see it's quite... Um, customized and the fragility of this is just a lot of things hanging out as well like this this could have been a one by or a two by three tile piece which I don't know if it existed back in 2008 if this came out that year not sure but little things like that just could use improvements right now and a little flaw right here is this piece kind of sticks out a bit this one right here is really fragile you can see that it already came off let me fix that and there I do like this building technique however like I said it's just not sturdy enough I mean you hold it accidentally and this comes off and I just hold that's held by that stud and now it's inside the tank unfortunate moving around look at the back we have uh, vents and I don't know all these things on the tank but here's the back of it and the turret looks nice which can rotate a 360 it does get stuck a little bit and it just came off that's because inside it's only held by this well, that's why I put it wrong let's try it again 
Okay, try it again, and... Yes. Oh, came off again, so... But anyways, that's the interior. You have a seat with a steering wheel, and then of course your hatches open up here. Another thing too, they should have had that uh, piece that goes in here. I don't know what you call that piece, that round inverted um, plate. But just another little improvement that could have been done here. Maybe Series 3 has this uh, improvement, I'm not sure. But again, here's more of the interior, really not much in there. Now let's take a look at the track. Matter of fact, let's test it out. So it does rotate, with the exception of some of the wheels just don't spin. And I feel it's getting stuck. One thing you might want to be careful of is just this part here, like I showed you earlier, held by one stud, so it can come off pretty easy. Let's take a look at the, take a look at the uh, turret now. Um, pretty detailed. You have these uh, smoke grenades, I believe what it is, and your cannon, which can elevate slightly. You do have one full hatch here, and a hatch here, which you can put a minifigure. Let's put them in. And there they are. There's still room for one more. So that's just vacant for now. So let's conclude this review. But first, let's compare this with my other mechanized brick set. Just the size comparison. If you remember a few months ago, I did a review on this set. Now I just added stickers, so everything are stickers, which makes the church it'll look better. Anyways, let's take a look here. So here's the size comparison between the Churchill and the Tiger One. This one here was 250, and this one here is 215. But of course, like I said, I got it for a cheaper price. So that sums up their size. Let's conclude this review. So, just like I described earlier in the video, my Series 2 version of the Tiger 1 is discontinued from Mechanized Brick. I got this for $175, including shipping used, which not really was used, it was um, pretty much displayed. However, the Series two, uh, 3 from Mechanized Brick is available, and that is $215. So, I think that's... A little bit steep still but compared to brick mania the same type of tank this probably costs you 50 to 100 dollars more and yes they have better minifigures and weapons accessories decals but if you want to go for the cheaper uh, version with mechanized brick i think that's a better idea the tank itself is like i said uh a little bit flawed in some areas but overall I think it looks good and definitely worth the purchase especially what I paid for I would have not gotten this for a brand new price 215 so 175 definitely was worth it for me this brickhead boy thanks for watching